Soul life didn't make this body, but soul life is making me a heck of a lot stronger. Soul Life Minerals are highly absorbable, using natural, organic, safe, and effective ingredients, giving your body the essential nutrients it craves, including Magnesium 5X, giving you better sleep and muscle recovery, better heart and bone health and body movement, even better bathroom breaks. And you can get your Soul Life supplements at $20 off every bottle at soullife.com slash Kelly. We're proud to be the official U.S. launch partners for Soul Life, the minerals you need. I guess the sobriety's over <laughs> for a day. Just for a day. Yeah. Uh, this is your Daily Smash for Monday, March 4th, 2024. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. And we are exhausted, but we're in our new house. It's awesome. It is. Not I can't without wait to its, show you. Not without its issues. Oh my God, there's so many issues in this house. Wake <laughs> up from one issue to the next. I think because someone, no one was living here for a while and they rented it too soon. They hadn't addressed all the problems before they put it on the market. Well, I told Rick, I guess the people that lived here before didn't pay rent. Mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I can see why. Well, I mean, just, it's beautiful. It's nice. But there's oh, a lot of issues here. I, I love this house. I love the space. Uh, and I don't want to sound like... I'm a complainer, but the dishwasher is broken. The ice machine doesn't work. You know, the toilet breaks. Like, it's just little things like that. Like, you expect the basics to be There's a leak. The Our washer and dryers <laughs> don't dry. The brand new LGs. I'm taking those back, getting a speed queen. And like everybody's recommendation. Should listen to you guys in the first place. You guys yeah. are such great resources. True. I'm getting a speed queen. So, that'll be the fourth washer dryer I buy in a week and a half. The guys who installed the washer apparently didn't do it right because it's There's leaking. A leak. Another leak. Yeah. The only one that's not leaking is me. <laughs> you are kind of a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I, you know what I mean. Uh, but my hands, I don't even know if you can see. I have so many little cuts and nicks and I'll be bleeding because like, could you not bleed on the new couch? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. I got cuts all over me from just Look random. At, you can't see it. Here, look. Here, I, Here, look. It doesn't bend that way. <laughs> we did get a massage this afternoon, which was awesome. My, mine wasn't as good as yours. Mine actually. was great. So uh, I heard her moaning. So Rick time. doesn't like when guys um, work I don't know on that him. it was a guy. Well, it looked like non-binary. binary. I don't it looked like mm -hmm. Pat, but that doesn't matter. But Rick doesn't like guys touching him. I don't well, know. I also like a gentle massage. I don't like a rough massage. And this was pretty rough. But you need it rough to relax your muscles. <laughs> I like it rough. Wait, what? You do? I, I do. First, I, I like that. I like to get the kinks out. This lady at Prosage in Corona Del Mar knew exactly where I was hurting. She's like your sciatica. She was in there, you know, my foot right here uh -huh. in there was hurting me right here. She was getting her elbow and putting it in there. That's so cool. I like when they do my feet, and I didn't get my feet done today at all. Oh, boy, that was but so nice. But this person was twisting and turning my legs and getting me it, all like... Because it was Thai massage. What, I told, would you say yoga? I, told, I said, it's lazy man's yoga. Yeah. Thai massages. Just lying there, letting them do it for me. On Friday, the actual moving day, I had my phone on me most of the day, but not all the day. Because there's more than this. These were my steps recorded on my phone, 21,210, the most I've ever had in a day that I've checked for steps, and I think it was at least 22, 23,000. The most we've ever had was 19,000, and that was in New York City. Almost 20, yeah, one day in New York. Um, when we were on the Zoom call, we do our weekly Zoom call for our Rick and Kelly show for our VIP and party patrons, and the lady said my skin looked really good. Oh, I, Diana that came to visit me, she, I, I, she's like, I have, I go, I love our community. Wait, you don't have any reaction to my beautiful skin? No, because I look at you every day. <laughs> uh, so we do these Zoom calls on Sunday and we've built a nice community of like nice people just like us. I mean, they're awesome. Like it, it's honestly like. One of the things I look forward to, like at Me the end too. of the week, every I, Sunday, I, I love it. We're it on there just, for an hour it, I and love a half. it, and I love everybody in there. 
So Diana goes, I text Diana, I haven't seen her on Zooms. Like I haven't seen Elise on Zooms. I haven't seen a lot of people on Zooms and I can't reach out to everybody because I have a million things to do. But I think about all of you, like Esther, and everybody used to be on there, right? Yeah. Bree, they're not on there anymore. Mm -hmm. But they don't even check in. Um, but... Uh, but they're still patrons. Yeah. They just don't come on the Zoom. I know, I miss them though. But anyway, we've built a nice community. And I said to Diana, Diane, I said, you know, I haven't seen you. She's like, well, I don't want to bury you with your sister. I go, we're all family here. Like, mm -hmm. no one has, no one looks down on anybody. It, it is honestly, I swear to you, it is um, a godsend. Our patrons. I, I honestly am like so thankful and so Me grateful. Too. Me too. And you guys should check it out. We have a lot of fun on Patreon. And we go longer than this. We do an hour show. We talk about stuff we can't talk about here. Uh, we get into a lot of good gossip. We got a, a message from Chris M. Please show a picture of the Soul Life Supplement pills. What size are they? I have some reform right here. They're all the same size. And this is... This They're is easy a reform to take. Pill. Look. <laughs> That's the pill. I'm t I take five at once, and go they go down easy, and I don't have any stomach issues from these. We probably shouldn't be drinking after we got a massage. But you know what? I haven't had a drink in 18 days. I know. It's been 19 days. how many days? But 18, you're allowed 19? to during Lent. You're allowed to have... The only reason we had a drink today, because it's Sunday, we went to Sugarfish for a meal. We wanted to pamper ourselves a little bit. I've been here working. I haven't been outside. I feel like like I haven't done anything. I'm back and forth between the houses. That's about I, I it. have to get out of here. <laughs> so we did break our sobriety at Sugarfish, which is awesome, by the way. And here's a video. It's Sunday. Sunday fun day. We're allowed to have a drink on Sunday, apparently. Yeah, apparently we're allowed to have a drink on Sunday. So we did. We broke down. We, we couldn't beat take our it anymore. Couldn't take it anymore. We were working so hard. We're going to go get a massage up here. So we want to release the PC. Cheers, my love. Let's go rip it up. <laughs> it's so good. I never mm. thought alcohol would taste so good. It does taste delicious. How long has it been? Uh, 18 days. <laughs> she knew right away. <laughs> Counting the day, 18. 18 days. First sip of alcohol in 18 days. Oh, yeah, it is delicious. It's delicious. We're at Sugarfish. Look how little this place is. Show them. But it's phenomenal. It's really cute. Really and cute. The food is fantastic. The beer tasted very good. It was nice. It's a to, Light. I, yeah. I can't tell the difference between that and the non-alcoholic beers. Really? I can't. But you said you got a little buzz after. I did because we haven't drank. But I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. So I want to tell the story of the couch. Oh, God. We bought this couch on Amazon. Great deal. I think it was like 1800 or something. But it was $250 shipping fee. Yes. And it was a huge sectional. So there's six boxes. And each box contains one of the sections that you have to put together and inside the the section they jam in there some of them have backs and then they have pillows and then they also have covers slip covers and it's all like vacuum packed and it's a cloud it's a cloud dupe on restoration hardware it's on amazon i'll, yeah. I'll show it to them can you so, show it like I'll, I'll yeah i'll put it on there so i'm each box, I open it up and I'm pulling this stuff. It's really hard to get everything out of the inside and then assemble it. But the first one was the ottoman and that was easy, right? We put that together, no problem. The next one we have was this corner piece and you put the backs on first and then you're supposed to put the slip cover on. And there were zero instructions on how to put this slip cover on. It was very complicated. They just said, unzip the zipper. So Kelly and I tried it for, I want to say, at least an hour, right? Well, yeah, then we got Jolie because you know. Wait, first, Tony. Yeah. We got a Tony try, right? Or no, no, no Jolie Tony was first. Yeah, Tony wasn't here. It's just me, you, and, All right. and Jolie. And so I did a time lapse video of Jolie. Oh, okay. But what your challenge to her was what? Basically, let's see if you can figure it out. Yeah. So here's what it looked like. <laughs> I 
I mean, you would have thought that we, the three of us, are the biggest idiots on earth. We are. Struggle with this thing forever and ever. I tr looked for YouTube videos, couldn't find one. And I thought I had to figure it out, and I didn't. Ultimately, We're the biggest dummies here, okay? So you all called right. your friend Brenda. So my friend Brenda, the one that, remember I get all the couches, I mean, all my cushions, everything custom made. You know, remember I had that big, huge thing going to New York. She she customizes all my cushions. All our sun, what is umbrella, it? Sunbrella. Sunbrella. Umbrella for outdoor and furniture. She's a, a friend of mine. And so I called. Brenda's like, oh, you have to come, you know, let's go to lunch. I'm like, yeah, let's go to lunch. And then all of a sudden I'm like, Brenda, you have to come over. She's like, well, I'll come over tomorrow. And I said, I cannot figure this out. And I go, and you're only, because she deals with fabrics. Like, I'm like, if she can't figure it out, we're taking this oh, thing Oh, I back. was going to return. I already started the return process. So, but they're in big boxes and they're vacuum packed. And there's no and way. Heavy. And heavy. And there's no way you could possibly put all that back together. No. There, I, absolutely not. I wouldn't need an extra boxes for the pillows and the covers. It was absolutely ridiculous. It would have been impossible. And Rick's like, what did you buy here? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. So but, Brenda comes over. So Brenda comes over and she figured it out in two seconds. Like, bam. Oh, the black part that I was trying to put on the top of the seat goes under. Yeah. And it just, I was like, I had it back. And there's no instructions. None. But she, thank you, Brenda. So then I said to Brenda, I go, hey, I go, if I want to slip cover these things, how much would it cost? Because the fabric is really, really expensive. And yeah. she's like, probably $2,000. I'm like, that's what I paid for this couch. Right. See, I like getting rid of my couches all the time. Like, I don't like having, except the house in the desert, that was... Ten grand. That's a beautiful but couch. But that was a beautiful couch. I'm never getting rid of that thing. But the couch we had in the house at the beach, we put in our master bedroom, which is huge. Yeah. So now we have a, a couch seating area in front of the fireplace, plus the bed will be behind it. And today I went to uh, Best Buy and I bought this massive TV mount that I could put on the sidewall and then pull out and turn so we can have a TV at the foot of our bed. But I haven't assembled it yet. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. But just hire somebody again. Okay, task, I'll, I'll hire someone. Task, what is that? Julie's called it. Task master? No. I don't know. Task, I'm, I'm going to see if Johnny's kid can help again. Task something. But there's Brenna a, there's a, there's a There's a thing. Uh, you know how they have like nanny.com? and Yeah, it's some online handyman type service. Julie's like, do you want to pay for it? Do you want to pay for it? And Rick's like, no, I don't want to pay for it. Well, because I was going to return the couch. I wasn't considering, you know, hiring somebody for another couple hundred bucks and he comes over and he can't do it either. Maybe he could have. I don't know. But Brenda did it. Uh, but Bren came over and Wait, helped. let's show Brenda's Instagram. Sure. Here it is. Brenda's Instagram. I'm doing this so Rick, when he edits, he knows that <laughs> she can do your cushions, custom. She's really good. She's very talented. Very ta That's a skill that I always wanted to learn and I never did. What? Doing upholstery? Yeah. Like... Sewing. We were talking about that on our Zoom call today. Yeah. A lot of the ladies know how to sew or crochet or knit. I know. That'd be such a <laughs> neat thing to do. My mom does that sometimes. She'd just be sitting there knitting a sweater. Or... Knitting? Knitting. She used to. I don't know if she still does, but she used to knit. Why don't you call her and say, Mom, do you still knit? Okay. You should give your mother a call. I'm going to call her tomorrow. You call, call your mom tomorrow. She's um, like, they, they travel the world. They're like 90 and they're like in Costa Rica. Your parents are like ballers. That means I will be too. I'm just getting started. Um, Bryn was a big help, our assistant. Oh, God. Thank you, Bryn. Thank you, Bryn. You guys want, if you guys need an assistant for social media or anything, this, we don't, I, I wish I was like totally busy that I could give her a ton of work. As this long girl as she's, is smart. She's really, she's and whip she, smart. She's very quick. Quick. I give her a task, she gets it done in like a minute. She did that in my whole closet. I mean, uh, she's awesome. But like I stuff... I want her to be on um, like work. But like, she, I wish I could ha hire her full time. She handles our shorts on YouTube. She posts those every day. She, she's been very helpful for us. Uh, so thank you. We're going to LA this week, Thursday. We're going to do... Uh, 
The Doug Buden cooking thing? What's that called? Harry, um, remember Harry from uh, Tampa? He's yeah. coming. We're going to pick him up from the airport. <laughs> I'm going to take him to uh, L.A. I mean, stay at the Pendry. Just saying, like, we must be really good friends to pick him up at LAX, which is the worst airport to drive into. Nightmare. It's a nightmare. <laughs> uh, it and then is. we're going to do Jeff Lewis on Friday. We're going to the desert tomorrow. Monday, today, we're driving to the desert to pick up more pickleball paddles because I know we have orders for pickleballs and paddles. We ran out of paddles here, but I know I have at least one case in storage in the desert, so we're going to go get it. Uh, these are flying off the shelves. We sold, I think, at least 100 boxes in three days, two and a half days, because we're selling them at cost. Three boxes of three balls. Three boxes for 10 bucks. So it's basically just over a dollar a ball. I would recommend getting two sets because then you're spreading your shipping out and you're getting six boxes of balls for 20 bucks. It's a really good deal. Yeah. And they're cool. Not a lot of people have pink balls. Blue balls. Not me. In any event. <laughs> what? Wait. I have Let's one, keep it clean here, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I have one other funny story. Kelly and I, for the second year in a row, attempted to get press credentials to the BNP Paribas Open in Palm Desert. Great tennis tournament. Like, how do you even know how to submit this? So, with it, Megan Weaver called me. She's like, hey, I'm going to the tennis thing on Friday. Do you want to go? Yeah. And I said, I don't, I, I got to do Jeff Is Lewis. Is Ben going to be back? Much. No, Ben doesn't come back until the end of the month. Ben, no. her, her partner, is doing two movies. So, we went last year, you know, we bought tickets, but I wanted, I tried to get credentials, they wouldn't give them to us. I'm like, well, this year I'm going to apply early for press credentials, because we have a show every day. We can promote the, the, the event. We could go live from there or, or we're, record. We're, we're complete losers. So, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I mean, so, thank you, our one and only fans here no like legit <laughs> like I, I can't believe they denied me like what i i'm a journalist with 35 years of reporting experience and i'm gonna go there and report on your tennis tournament hey, you're gonna say no news, max you are on a reporter. i am you really are dear rick leventhal thank you for submitting your credential request for the 2024 bnp paribus open rick leventhal internet reporter denied kelly dodd leventhal internet reporter denied can i just tell you something really quick yes that really pissed me off yeah so Bryn, our, our assistant has her she's young she's in college and uh she has a boyfriend and he's getting into the movies and her she is you know very she's conservative she's doing turning point usa and he he's like whatever but they he didn't get a job because he, they, they told him that what you're associated with. You they didn't know, like his politics. They didn't like that his girlfriend's politics. Really? Because she was involved with Turning Point and they saw that he was yeah. with her. That, yeah. That's ridiculous. He didn't get the job for that. There has got to be political. There's political discrimination. There that, is. That is absolutely. In like the, we live and they say, oh, our democracy is being silenced. That's our democracy being silenced. I agree. Right there. I agree. And in the same way that Georgia, and I didn't put this in the news, but there's another squatter story in Georgia, and they are actually putting a law together that would make it illegal to squat in someone's home without a, a, a valid lease. I mean, I can't believe this is going on across the country and no one's done anything about it How yet. Come our Patreon said that we should get together, do a petition, or do something mm -hmm. to... Stop these squatters. Initiate some kind of uh, bill to address this. Something. Now, I don't know that I can get involved with that if I am going to go in back to full-time news, but you certainly could. I don't even know how to go about doing that. <laughs> but the point is, we're allowing this to happen. It's absolutely backwards and ridiculous. Someone broke into this guy's house, changed the locks, and now all of a sudden you can't kick them out because they're living there? Like It's... it's no, you go in there, you grab them, you arrest them, and you throw them in jail for trespassing. They're illegally living in someone else's house. I can't imagine 
that they, they can get away with it. It just boggles my mind. I don't understand how they're allowed to. They were like, how how is that their squatter rights? How? What, what right, right do you what have? What rights? Why would you have rights to squat? Stupid. Okay? More on that later. We did get some over 300 comments on Friday's show. And by the way, last week we did great here on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to keep up the great content. Uh, I don't know if this qualifies. <laughs> We're talking but, about how we got denied getting to the BNP test. But uh, we got a lot of very nice emails, including from uh, Vicky, who wrote, really enjoy your show. I'm a Patreon, too. I watch both. Oh, thank you. And Jess, in real life, I'm obsessed with this show. RHOC is not even entertaining at this point. Love you both. I'm not watching that crap. Me either. That's bull crap, okay? <laughs> Ugh. Catherine Kennedy, well done, Kelly, for saying the truth. You are a truth sayer. <laughs> People nowadays are scared to say what's real for fear of being canceled. You are far too beautiful and classy to be on any housewife franchise. All they do is bitch, argue, and fight with each other. Your move will bring your breakthrough and a prosperous new year. Yay! Boom, I couldn't agree more. I hope so. We're already You're crushing not it. You're getting denied going to a like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? F you, BNP. We don't want to go anyway. No, our buddy Steve said, just get a general admission ticket. We can move around. We can watch from Nobu. We can, people get up and out of their seats. You can sit almost anywhere. Whatever. We went last year, and that's when that whole Heather McDonald and Megan Weaver thing went down. Oh, yeah. That it's was been last a year. year. It's been a year. I'm kind of scared to even go. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> for fear of the drama that might ensue. Hey, well, it can't happen at our house because we have tenants there, unless we squat. Mighty. Hey, you know what, though? I love these people. They're from Boston. They're mm -hmm. nice. They pay a crap load of money for three months. Yeah. They're awesome. I'll tell they're, you right now. I want them there all the time. I dare you to try and squat in one of our houses. I dare you. See what happens. I double dog dare you. I double, triple dog the dog dare you. Mighty O one G. Good morning. How many people I don't can understand why people don't fight fire with fire? Yeah. I would go down. Some do. Huh? Go ahead. You would go oh, first down. First of all, I would cut. I would cut off the. the I, I don't care if I got in trouble. Okay. Arrest me. Do whatever you can. I'm cutting off the electricity. Then I'm going down to downtown LA. And the water. I'm going down. And I'm going to find a gang member from MS sixteen. <laughs> Pay them <laughs> handsomely to go do whatever it is that. They is that a new do. gang, MS sixteen? What is that one? MS thirteen. That one. <laughs> okay, what sixteen, thirteen, fourteen? Who cares? I'm gonna get six of them, not one. Get a whole gang of gang members. And scare the crap out of them. I have a lot of. Style. I have a lot of plans up here, just in case. Mighty O one. Good morning. How many people can say they live on an island in the USA? Well, there's Bravo Island here. Well, there's Long Island. Peninsula. There's Sending Island. good vibes on your new home. Have a great weekend. And Lucy Clark said, Rick, dying his hair beard? Nope. What is it? She asked if I was dying my hair and my beard. No, he doesn't. I'm not. It's going grayer and grayer. This is the only part that's... <laughs> that's, why he, that's why he That's why That's why I'm it. hanging on to it. <laughs> How do you die? No, it would turn like it would turn like orange. I just saw a commercial. I hate guys that dye hair. Yeah, it always just looks fake. Men. It always looks fake. I saw another one. Maybe it was just for men. But the guy was like brushing it into his beard. The best is um, Curb Your Enthusiasm with Je Jeff Green. Oh yeah. And Jeff Green uses Just for Men hair hair products. You guys have to watch this. And he starts sweating he, they're like in georgia or something yeah and the the, the dye is like running down his it was you can see the black <laughs> hair dye <laughs> coming down his face down and the they used the well i don't even want to tell that story yeah in the news now <laughs> you guys shop at, in the news now in the news. do you guys shop at trader joe's i do okay have you bought any of trader joe's chicken soup dumplings no good because they've been recalled for possibly containing Permanent marker plastic. 61,000 yeah, pounds. Is that in the frozen department? Uh, let me see. More than 61,000 pounds of steamed chicken soup dumplings. Oh, yeah, no, no, I buy those. I bought them. I love those things. Do we have any in the freezer? No. 
But I love those things. They're awesome. Well, you, they're, they're these little dumplings in this like short tray and they have a little bit of soup in them and you bite them and then you... And like you get... Like a shot of like... It like spurts. Juice. It spurts in your mouth. Yeah. Do you like it when it spurts in your mouth? Yes, I do. It's good to know. Uh, more than 61,000 pounds of steamed chicken soup dumplings sold at Trader Joe's are being recalled for possibly complaining, containing, complaining. and complaining... Hard plastic. <laughs> How does plastic get into dumplings? There's probably plastic on the top, and they, you microwave it. But it like says that. hard plastic from a permanent marker pen. Did someone drop one in a vat of dumplings? A marker pen? And how would you even know that? Like, how like if you ate? They find it at the bottom of the barrel when they were cleaning it Did out. They test it. Was it a bunch of marker pens? Uh, the recall. You have to worry about everything. Oh. I have the answer to your question. Oh, you didn't read it? Wait, you did not read this? Uh-uh. I just read the headline in the first line. I was like, this this is a public service announcement. We like to do these on occasion here on the Smash. Wait, you didn't read So I'm you learning. Read, I thought you read Along with you guys, I'm learning about what happened. <laughs> the recall arised after consumers reported finding hard plastic in the Trader Joe's branded products. No reported illnesses or injuries have been reported. So anyway, if you have these dumplings in your freezer, bring them back to Trader Joe's. Tell them how upset you are. And maybe they'll give you like a gift certificate for $100 worth of free groceries. I feel air coming out of here. I opened that window because oh. I was warm. <laughs> okay. Is that what that is? <laughs> that is. Oh my, okay. A draft. I feel like something. So, okay, uh, that is your Daily Smash for today. We are exhausted, as I mentioned. You could probably tell, but we're yeah, powering we're, through. We're beat, beat up from the feet up here. Totally, but it's all for a good cause. We have a beautiful home. I, I still haven't hung the photos, the pictures, but that's coming this week, and the TVs are going to go up this week. And the water is two, right there. 10 blocks, or no, 10 steps. Yeah, right there. Right a there. Little, a little beach and some and water ten, right ten there. 10 steps, yeah. Right, because I didn't know that the, the ocean was right there. You could see through the houses, over the water, through the other houses, and there's the ocean. I told you that. I know, but I didn't realize you. I didn't realize. Some of our I thought, wrote that. I thought you were talking about that water right there, no, not... the ocean's right there. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived here? Four years. You didn't know that. Almost. Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm learning new things every day. It's beautiful here. Lido Island is gorgeous. We will give you a tour of the home once we get it more settled. We'll give you a tour of the area, right? Mm -hmm. We're not showing our old house because Kelly's just, it's just. A, it, well, it didn't have. Uh, you've yeah. seen the inside of it, some of it. It's just like we don't want it. That's in the past. Rearview mirror. We're done with that place. I'm done with that place. But that I place did go back. Shithole. <laughs> I did go back four <laughs> times to get. More stuff that I left behind the last and time. I don't have this. This house is a five bedroom house. I don't have any room for my clothes in here. It's bizarre. It, How many square feet was that other house? 2,400? Yeah, 24. What is this? I don't know exactly, but it's got to be at least 3,000, maybe 3,200. I can look it up. Wow. Huh. You want to look it up right now? No, I don't. Okay. I want to go to bed. Peace, everybody. Bye, have guys. a great day.